So as you noticed, actual profiles on Potluck are built on a social graph, and there's a social feed on every single one of the pages. So it's a lot like kind of Farcaster built in with Giveth and Gitcoin, where social is embedded, you can follow, and then you can have post. Uh, but a lot of you don't really see post or see a lot of people um, kind of easily creating posts. And this is one of the hacks that we have. Shout out to the Wormhole uh, team who built this. Um, and so um, you can see kind of this feed filtered by approved projects on the project registry. So everything that they post here and a lot of people who are posting and I'll show you an example actually have this hashtag boss. And some people may be wondering like, why is it hashtag boss? But this is actually kind of an indicator. And then you can also um, look into if you open image in new tab, you can kind of see this has that Twitter image right here. Um, this is actually an indicator that this was originally posted on Twitter. And then when they use the hashtag boss, it automatically posted on near social or on the social graph and then shows up on the feed. So for a lot of you people, you guys aren't going to essentially want to pay for gas or want to go directly on your social or potluck to post. You guys might just want to post on Twitter and have that automated. That's what I'm going to show you uh, here today so you can easily give updates to the people who are actually following you on Web3 from your normal Web2 interface. Um, so we're going to go from the near.org gateway. I'm going to put this in the description. This is the wormhole three post think tweets to boss uh, post. What you're going to need, you're going to need to be logged into your Twitter that you want to sync is. You're going to need to be logged in to your account that you want to sync with. And you're going to need the near.org gateway because when it redirects, it redirects back here. Um, although it, it works on other gateways, it's just better to do it on here. I skipped the part where I logged in. I signed the on-chain terms and conditions. You're going to need a little bit of gas for that. Uh, but just know I'm logged in through both Twitter and also near.org. So I'm going to authorize the app right here. Um, and then it's going to come right back. Uh, normal times, I'm going to basically refresh it. And so when you're granting these permissions, you're doing the handle right here on Twitter, uh, which is your unique ID. This actually does not change even if you change your handle. That's what this is. And you're basically saying, hey, I'm going to link my account publicly on chain to this handle. And then you're basically going to grant right permission. So the social.near contract, it is a very, very powerful contract where um, basically you can allow other people to write to any part of the social graph, um, except things that are protected in the setting. So that's like a protected class. But for posting um, and for commenting and things like that, you can actually um, you know delegate this part of the tree to another person. So what this is doing is saying, hey, I'm linking this Twitter um, and I'm allowing uh, now the sender that wormhole that near contract to post um, to these following data trees. And you can do this for anyone. You can even in theory say, hey, I want to delegate someone to edit the potluck profile. Um, but in this case, we're using sender wormhole dot near um, in order to post here. And the way it posts is when you do the hashtag boss. So if I confirm here, it's going to require a transaction. And I'm just going to confirm that on here. It's going to take around 0.1 near, which is around 0.61 cents at the time of the recording of this video. Um, and essentially, that's all it'll take. And, and I can give an example on uh, Twitter right now, if give a second. So let's wait for that transaction to confirm. Transaction confirmed. You can now see it's linked here. I'm going to go back to Twitter, give an example. I put the hashtag boss. If I click post, um, I can actually see if you watch the learn near watch bot tutorial earlier, I can see the transaction kind of go down on here. I can even just check the profile on here. I go to profile and I go to social feed. Um, you're going to essentially still going to take some time to load, honestly, on chain. Uh, but I know it happened because if I check my Twitter bot, um, I actually, yeah, it's actually going to be relaying on here. Uh, but it doesn't need to happen instantaneously. Just know it does happen and it's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. You'll be able to see, uh, the post pretty soon on here. And now you can see it uploaded here. I didn't pay for gas. They basically posting on my behalf, they detected on Twitter, hashtag boss, they posted here, and now it actually shows up on the global feed because this project is on the approved registry.
on here and then people who are following or even looking on the global public goods registry feed can see this update without me actually having to do anything and posting directly on the blockchain they kind of abstract that away with meta transaction and uh, write permissions on the contract.